Amen. Let us stand. Please turn to the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Philippians chapter 4, Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Please stand if you can. One more time, Philippians chapter 4, starting at verse 6. When you get there, say amen. amen. It says, be careful for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication with, everybody say thanksgiving. Amen. Let your request be made known unto God. May God add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word. Please remain standing for prayer. Eyes closed and heads bowed. Father God, in Jesus' name, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Father God, for the great opportunity to come to the house of the Lord one more time. And for that, we just want to say thank you. We thank you, Father God, for your grace and your mercies, which were around us this whole week, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for your holy angels being with us, going in and out, Father God, from our workplace and in and out of what we're doing on a daily basis, Father God. But you kept us, Father God. And for that, we just want to say thank you. Father God, we pray that you forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Holy Spirit, you're welcome in this place right now. And we pray that you touch the speaker and touch the people that we have a tent of ears, Father God, to hear your word in the act of thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Father God, we just thank you, Father God, for just you being you yeah. and you being you all by yourself, Father God. And for that, we say thank you again, Father God. So we bless this service, Father God. We pray that you protect us, Father God. The ones that are on the way, give them traveling grace, Father God, and touch us on today. In Jesus' name we pray. And the whole congregation said, Amen. 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 Spotlight's on the fire. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. 
Let's give God some praise on this morning and let Sister Denise is teaching. Let's uh, tell him how awesome he is. Thank you. 
Jesus at the center of it all. All right, yeah. Jesus at the center of it all. From the beginning to the end, it will always be, it's always been you, Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus at the center of it all. Hey. 
I take it for granted. 
and every time that door swing open, I plan to be in the building. I mean, I know some folks are here, I show up next week, 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 I will be here as long as that door swings open. I'm going to come through. So let's say I confess, and I confess that I thank, or rather, I thank the Lord. From my soul, because he, and, and I'm not going to forget. Okay, I'm I'm looking at the uh, church right now, so I'll holler at you. I thank the Lord. I thank okay. The Lord who forgives all my iniquities? Who heals all my diseases? Who redeems my life? Who redeems from destruction? Life. From destruction. Who crowns me? Grace and mercy. Thank God. Thank God. Who satisfies my mouth. Who satisfies my mouth with good things. So that my youth, so that my youth is renewed, is renewed like, like eagles. Amen. I'm going to have a seat. Talk about uh, thanking God for Jesus. Amen. Yes, sir. Yeah, boy, that Denise was on it this morning. She laid it out there. Yeah. Talking about, and you're going to all up to talk about the nature of God. God's nature is so great. Mm -hmm. uh, as my mother used to say, he sits, sits high and he looks low. His wisdom is beyond, or, or, or the Bible says, passes understanding. He knows it, he knows the end from the beginning. Yes, sir. Amen. I talk about a father in heaven. Yeah. Yeah. How mighty he is. How mighty, how mighty. Come on, somebody. Yeah. How gracious God the Father is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I know I got a witness somewhere. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How forgiven he is. Talk about it. Talk about it. Even though I don't deserve it. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. I know somebody just said, you know what I ain't called that. Bad. A lot of people have this idea. I'm not all that bad. You ain't good enough. Amen. You ain't good enough. I am not good enough. Amen. I'm not holy enough. Amen. To stand in this presence. Be it not for Jesus. Be it not for Jesus and his precious blood. Yeah. I want to show y'all something here right quick. Turn to me over to um, uh, Romans right quick, just quickly, before I get started on this. I'll say I'll go to turn to me to Romans, uh, the third chapter right quick. I want to look at the verse. I want to help y'all with something. Romans 3 and 20, 23. Yeah. Yeah. We all know that. Yes, we all know that. The Bible says that for all, how many is all Levi? All have sinned as hope. <laughs> all of the big shot preachers on television with the big mega ministers. Yes, Bible said all have sinned. Amen. Amen. And done what? Short. Come, somebody said, come, come short, short yes, of the glory of God. Yes, everybody, everybody, every soul, every living soul, with exception of Jesus, yeah. have sinned. Yeah. And I'm so glad. But look what he goes on to say uh, quickly. Being justified freely by his grace through mm -hmm. the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, who has sent forth uh, to be a propitiation, that's to satisfy God, that's, that's what's known as the atonement, the blood of Jesus, amen, through what? Faith in his blood. I got to trust that the blood of Jesus is sufficient. Trust in it, tell us what says, trust in his blood. Trust in his blood. And so today I want to talk to you all today about uh, thanking God for Jesus. In this first scripture here that we'll be looking at in 2 Timothy, talks about how uh, I thank God because he is my Savior. Amen. Savior. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know, I don't know about y'all. Uh, maybe y'all ain't been uh, swimming where they, uh, you know, if every pool has, has a lifeguard somewhere, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 And so then if you can't swim and if you get out in the deep water, then there is a, what, lifeguard available yeah. yeah. to dive in the sea. It's a young boy, but I didn't know how to swim yet. So we went down on this little creek. Not too far from where I used to stay. It's a, the same creek that I got baptized in. Yeah. It's a lot of the creek. We went out there. They had a little place they called the chain. And uh, it was deep water out there. And all my cousins and their brothers out there, because I was out there, had to go to swim. Somehow or another, I jumped off into the water. I got off and way up over my head. Yeah. And boy, you know, people talk about how you go down three times. That's it. I must have went down about five times. Hello, I was in bad shape. I was, all I could see, I could see that old green water. I said, oh boy, this is it. And then my kids, I never forget my kids. He, he had dived in, he saw I was struggling. And he dived in and he swam underneath me and lifted me up. Come on, somebody. Boy, you talking about hallelujah. He was my savior. He saved me that day, brother, through God, the Father, yeah. sent him down there to save me because he saw that one day I'd be preaching the gospel, yes, talking about his goodness. I don't know about y'all, maybe y'all ain't never been in no place where you needed to be saved. But when you get to a place in your life where you need a savior, brother, that's when you'll thank God for Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Hallelujah. Look at this. Look at this. I want to share a few thoughts with y'all uh, uh, today. The Bible says, uh, uh, the, the, uh, and that like the application version says that in these verses, Paul gives a brief summary of the good news. If I say good news, good news. God loves us, He chose us, and He sent Jesus to die for us. Yeah. Amen, boy. I've to come, I've come back to the next boy. She was preaching that sermon this morning. <laughs> Amen. We can have what eternal life through faith in him because he broke the power. I said the power of death. With it, you don't need to be nervous about yeah. passing on, transitioning. Yeah. Amen. Well, all of us gonna transition one day. Amen. But we don't have to be nervous about it because we know that God the Father has already sent somebody down here to bless us yeah. with his own life, the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. We don't deserve to be saved, but God offers us salvation anyway. Yeah. Amen. We don't deserve it. You and I don't deserve it. But thank God for Jesus. Amen. Uh, Amen. Can I take my time with this? Take your time. <laughs> he gave me so much. I was just, like I was saying, I, I didn't read that uh, devotion. I'm going to have to find that devotion that the next week. But God had gave me that devotion. I prayed. I said, Lord, what do you want to talk about on Thanksgiving? I'm mean, going to have a little sweet little message. Talk about, yeah, thank God. Thank God for Thanksgiving. Yeah, we know the story. The pure groups came over. And they, they conned the Indians out of some turkeys. <laughs> we know the story, no? Yeah, yeah. Amen. And that he made it a, what, a national holiday. But really, the first Thanksgiving uh, was when Jesus broke bread out there in the wilderness for them 5,000 people. The Bible says that he broke the bread and he gave thanks for it. Yeah. To me, that was a Thanksgiving. And, and uh, you all know I study my Bible all the time. I, I have a, 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 a habit where I read uh, one or two of the Psalms every night. I'm off in the book of Psalms right now. And in the, in the 107th Psalm, it talks about what a believer's attitude ought to be. Amen? Turn with me over to 107th Psalm. I'm just going to have to share a few thousand with y'all today to help us to get a picture of, of God and how we ought to be so thankful. The attitude of, somebody said, attitude of gratitude. We need to be thankful 
for Jesus. Amen. 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 As we be thankful for this morning, we thankful for God the Father. When you look at these Psalms, if you get the chance to, to read these Psalms, uh, and, and actually beginning in about the 100, the 103rd Psalm, was one of the Psalms that Denise used this morning. Uh, when you look at them Psalms, the 103rd Psalm talks about how blessed the Lord, oh my soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all that is within me, and bless his holy name. Yeah. Bless the Lord. That was the, that was my confession this morning. Yeah. And then we move over to the 104th Psalm. It says it again, bless the Lord, oh my yeah, soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. Amen. Yeah. And then we look at the 105th Psalm. It says, that, oh, give thanks yeah. unto the Lord. Call upon his name and make known his deeds among you need to tell somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. And then and then after, again, this is sharing a few stuff with y'all. Yeah. These Psalms, uh, the hundred numbers of Psalms, praise you, the Lord. The hundred and uh, uh, six number of Psalms, praise you, the Lord, and oh give thanks to the Lord. Wherever you find, wherever you find uh, the psalmist in the Bible. Lifting up the name of God, yeah. Amen. They talk about how you ought to give thanks to Him. He is good. God is really good. More than I'm able in this little short message to describe the goodness of God. And I don't know what you went through. I don't know what you're going through. But I can tell you one thing: that it still don't matter because God is still good. Outside of your circumstances. Besides your circumstances, whatever it is you're going through, whether you be having a good good season or a bad season, does not change who God is. God is still good, and He is still worthy to be. And, and so is His house, this house that we in right now. God is present. In. Amen. And, and He is a holy God. Thank God for Him. Uh, a couple of things. The first thing I want to share with y'all today is that we need to thank God because he is my Savior. He yeah. saved my soul. Yeah. Okay, all right. All right. Maybe things you might be thinking might be going good for you right now. You might, everything might be wonderful for you. Amen. But you still need to save. Yeah, you need. You need somebody that's going to carry you on over as old folks say cross joy. Yeah. Amen. Uh, James Cleveland said in that song, he said, See, I stood on the banks of Jordan and I watched the ships go home. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. You know, and, and, and I plan to be on one of them ships one day. You know, if God is going to take me just like he took my wife on over across Jordan. Mm. Everybody in the building here is going to be carried on over across Jordan unless Jesus splits the clouds for us one day. Amen. Amen. And you and I, you may still be living, and then when he raptures us out of this world. But even if you don't, it don't make no difference, God. You're going to be in his presence. Because the Bible, come on, somebody, I'm talking about a saint. Yeah, yeah, the Bible yeah. says to be absent from the body is to be in the presence of God. So I want to say to all the day, thank God for it. A savior that made it possible. I got a few verses here I want to look at this morning over with uh, Luke 10 and 19. Uh, this is Jesus. This scripture, people like to use this scripture to talk about the power that we have been given. And we have been, thanks be to God, that you and I have power. Yeah. Amen. Maybe we, you don't always use it like you ought to, but you do have power. Amen. Yes, sir. Here it says in Luke 19, it says, Behold, this is Jesus speaking. Behold, I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all, if I say all, all the power of the enemy and nothing but shall by any means hurt you. And then, it's, then, he, and then he prefaces it. Jesus had just sent his Seven, they sent his disciples out to minister because they had seen him. He was making disciples out of them, kind of, you know, like, which is my assignment. 
is to make disciples out of people who come to disciples tabernacle. I know that everybody won't be a disciple. But I mean, all I can do is put it out there for you. All right. Amen. And then, I mean, you know, but anyway, uh, Jesus had sent them out and they came back bragging, Lord, Lord, we saw, we saw Satan fall from heaven like lightning at the mention of thy name. And this is when Jesus jumped in to help them to know what the main thing is. In the 20th verse, he said, notwithstanding, he said, in this rejoice not. Don't rejoice if you lay hands on somebody. All right. Don't rejoice if you pray for somebody and they got here. Don't rejoice in that. He said that even the spirits accepted unto you, but rather rejoice that your names are written in the All right. You just be glad. You be glad that your name is written on high. Because one day they're going to open up the book. Amen. They're going to open up Lee Williams and say, Everybody have to stand. Yeah. Amen. He said, everybody got to stand. Everybody got to stand on his own. Mother can't stand for you. Brother can't stand for you. Sister can't stand for you. You got to stand it for yourself. That's a George can't stand for me. I got to stand all by myself. And when they open up that book, amen. I'm, I, I know my name written in the Y'all, y'all know y'all come on somebody. Just like y'all got these jobs, you want to make sure your name is on the payroll. Y'all got these jobs, and then you want to make sure you live in these neighborhoods, you want to make sure your name is in the HOA membership list. But I'm talking about a, a registry that's a whole lot more important than that. And that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, be thankful that your name, amen. Turn to somebody and say, I'm thankful. I'm thankful that my name is written. I'm not playing with this thing. Amen. You can't wait until your day can come and then hope that you got somebody up there that can scribble your name and you don't have to forge them checks. You don't have to forge them checks and records. Try to forge your name. Your name can't be forged. Preacher, preacher. They can't forge your name yeah. in the Lamb's Book of Life. Yeah. One of them holy angels that God the Father has assigned. There's a holy angel. Uh, I was studying the other day how God's got for every all the books in heaven. They got the Lamb's Book of Life, which yeah. is the one that that determines whether or not you got eternal life. Wow. Amen. And then they got another set of books over there called the record book. That's all the stuff that you either did or didn't do that pleased or didn't please God. That's your record book. Everything, every single thought, come on, somebody. Every deed, every secret thought, they got an angel right there. Oh, okay, I got that. Amen. It's real. And, all, and, and, and your deeds, good or bad, cannot be erased unless Jesus gives direction. And God the Father is there in grace. But once you get saved, hallelujah. Somebody, once you get saved, hallelujah. All your records clean. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. You've been pardoned. You've been forgiven of your sins. Talk about just a few things here. Uh, Earlier, we had y'all read that scripture over in Romans 3 and 23. Talks about how all have sinned and come short of the glory. I have sinned. You have sinned. Amen. My deeds, amen. And all of my good works have all come short. They're just not good enough. I mean, look, I'm glad I'm thankful that God blessed me to be able to bring a message. To, the, to his people and talk to y'all about Jesus. I'm glad, but that's not what's going to get me in. All right. Amen. I know. I, I mean, if people want to talk about good works, I, 25 years I've been in ministry now. And then before the end, 11 years as a deacon, trustee, I have works galore. 
but that's not going to get me in. All right. What's going to get me in is my trust and my belief that what Jesus did for me is sufficient. Amen. Amen. I mean, it, it's a good thing. I thank God I work hard every week. I write these messages every week. Amen. Bible studies, eight before the end. I used to preach two sermons on a Sunday, but that's still not good enough. All right. Because my works are not going to get me. It's my trust in it that's going to get me beyond uh, that day when I have to see his holy angels. That's what I'm trusting in. Tell somebody, that's what I'm trusting in. And even if I haven't got it all together, amen, even if I stumble, I, there is a way where I can what? Get on the good foot, as James Brown used to say. If I can get on the good foot with God. In John, 1 John 1 and 10, it says that if I what? If I confess, if I own up to him. All right, there we go. Huh? So many people, you know, fool, first fool themselves, and then they fool you, but you can't fool God. You can't fool God. You can't have fool God. Look what it says. I was reading the other day. It says that one version of the Bible says that when I freely confess, talk about him as my Savior, y'all. I'm talking about thanking God for my Savior. When I freely, everybody said freely confess and admit my sins, that he is what? Faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I'm grateful. Yeah, I'm thankful you. to God thank you. for forgiving me, forgiving me of my sins. Yeah. I'm glad about it, y'all. I don't take it for granted. I'm thankful that he has forgiven me. He's my Savior. Turn to somebody and say, he's my Savior. Thank God for my Savior. I'm not playing with God. I know some people play with God. As I was saying, some folks kind of think, well, you know, I really ain't all that bad. You know, I heard I heard people say to some preachers say, you know, we all good. We all good. That's not what Paul said. Paul said that in me that is in this flesh that dwells what? Come on, somebody. Well, even the apostle Paul, who wrote all them books of the Bible, had knew that he still needed Jesus. And so we need him. Amen. Tell somebody say he's my savior. I thank God. Thank God for Jesus, my savior. And then I thank, thank God for Jesus, my healer. I said, God, I tell you, he must have been looking over my shoulders. Thank you, Lord. By his, come on, somebody. By his stripes. Y'all know what I'm talking about. By his stripes, I am healed. The stripes of Jesus. Amen. He took 39 stripes Hallelujah. for me and you. When they Hallelujah. took him into that praetorium and, and the pilot said whip him. And they whipped him and they put that cat of nine tails on his back and dragged the flesh off of his back. I know that's been way, 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 way back. And people forget about what Jesus went through so that you could be healed. And it's not just the healing of your body. Yeah. Amen. We we like to think of God, you know, people always think about healing. They think about, oh man, if I could just heal, get healed of this. And I pray for many people and I thank God who laid hands on many people. Many people have been healed as a result of it. Amen. And it's by his stripes because of his stripes. Look what he says in Isaiah 53 and 4. He says, surely. Tell us somebody said, sure. Surely. Surely he had what? Born our griefs and carried our what? Sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, afflicted. But he was, come on, somebody, wounded for our what? Transgressions and he was what? Bruised. Hallelujah. For our iniquities. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Wounded. They wounded him. And then he was bruised. Yeah. Amen. Amen. For your sin. Yeah. Amen. And the chastisement of our peace. 
Amen. The whipping, the punishment, amen, of our peace was upon him. And what? With his stripes. Amen. Heal, heal. Thank you. Well, you know, I, of course, you know, the Bible says that he gives us three score and ten. But as if by strength, he might give us another 10. Yeah. And uh, which is you know, what God has me right now. Yes, sir. And uh, he said, you know, but then after, the, after that 80, brother, get ready. Mm -hmm. Seems like my Arthur hurts me a little bit more. My shoulders ain't working all that good, amen. Hallelujah. But nevertheless, he healed me. Hallelujah. He healed me for all these years. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Come on, somebody. And you know when your time is up. And when your time is up, you come pitch. Hallelujah. Not gonna let you, you know, suffer too long. All right. But I thank God that God has been good to me. Yeah. I, in all my years, in all my 80 years, I have never, ever been admitted to the hospital. Amen. 80 years Amen. of life. Amen. God has kept me afloat. Hallelujah. And I'm still standing today as a testimony. Thank you, Lord. To the goodness of God. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've had some bad reports. They told me one time I had prostate cancer. I went upstairs, laid on my face, got my oil, guarded myself. Next thing I knew, went back to the doctor. I couldn't find nothing. Amen. So I know that's right. Because I love him. I love him. And I know he loves me. And even if I did have cancer, I still come out on top. Come on, somebody. You can't deflect cancer at the end of the world. It's the end of the world for some. For some who love Jesus, it's the beginning. Because I know it won't be long before I sin. So I heard somebody say the other day, you can't lose for yourself. I know that God is good. And whatever the Bible says, that my times are in his hands. I'm here as long as you want me to be. Amen. As long as he goes, he knows as long as he keeps me around, I'm going to preach Jesus. Yes, I'm going to talk about the goodness of the Lord yeah. in the land of the living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he did not leave us without any hope, y'all. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to finish up this. Y'all know I had another piece to go, but I'm going to finish it. Thank God. Tell somebody, thank God for Jesus. He's my healer. I know I got some witnesses in the building here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just keep on thanking him for being first. Thank you for being your second. I listened to, to Denise and she was talking this month, but she was just a preacher that most. <laughs> and I talked about me here, and uh, she had some things in there that God didn't even give me because he gave it to her. Yeah, amen. Talk about he's her protector. Yeah. He's all that for us. He'll grow me yeah, yeah, yeah. you. I hope y'all hear me. I'm trying to help y'all to see what the main thing of Thanksgiving is. Christmas too. But the main thing of Thanksgiving is Jesus. I need to thank God for him. He is my protector. Y'all know I told y'all I have this habit when I get up there on TC Justin in 1960 and the light turned green, I never just dash out. Because it's always a fool trying to beat that light. But he ain't gonna make a fool out of me. Oh, yeah. 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 This morning I was at the corner, and uh, sure enough, like I always do, I always count to ten. I said, "Let my glory home behind me," but I know it's a fool out there somewhere. Yeah. Sure enough, I stopped. All the cars would stop, except for this one. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. One more time. Yeah. One more time. I've seen it happen many times, but one more time he brought me out. He's my heel and my protector. Look what he did. The Bible over in Matthew 8 says that uh, 
when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him and saying, O oh Lord, my servant lies at home sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus said, I will come and heal him. Amen. He's still making house calls. Yeah. Jesus, you can't get no doctor to come to your house, huh? At best, you might get EMS come with an ambulance to take you over to the hospital, but that can't come. But Jesus will show up. Yeah, yeah. He, come on, somebody. He is a healer. Yeah. And I'm not trying to say this to be negative or anything. I hope y'all don't take me wrong. You know, doctors, they didn't say that. Doctors what, practice medicine. Isn't that yeah. what they said? I'm practicing medicine. Yeah, yeah. But Jesus is not practicing. Yeah, yeah. Jesus is healed. Yeah. Hey, yes, he is. He's still in the healing pit. And you, look, take your medicine. Take your medicine. Amen? They prescribe it to you. Take it. But this Roman centurion, Jesus said, I will come and heal him. He said, because I'm a man under authority, and I understand authority. And he said that, uh, I said, one come and one go, and they obey me. And he said, I know that I know that you can do the same thing, Jesus. He said, you don't have to come. Just speak the word. That's why the word of God is so important. That's the reason why when I preach and I teach y'all, I use the word of God. Yes, That's why you can't say, Pastor got this opinion and that ain't no, I don't have no opinion. That's my opinion. Yeah. My opinion is this. My opinion, whatever his opinion is, that's my opinion. I'm not bringing no other opinions to y'all. And you can believe it if you want to. Hallelujah. Boy, don't get mad at me. I'm just a messenger. Yeah. Amen. I mean, hallelujah. I'm going to try to finish up here, y'all. I'm going to stop. I want y'all to just really think about how blessed we are yes, yes, to sir. have God the Father give of his only, as, as Denise was saying, she only, that's her only begotten son. Huh? You can call that's her only begotten son. Amen. I know Zach can always straighten up his room like the other. <laughs> Leave clothes hanging on the floor with my dog. He's have to clean the bathroom, pick up the clothes, wash his dishes. Amen. Probably David does the same thing. Amen. Hey, man, I never got amen. But they're not ready to sacrifice him, though. They're not going to take him up on Mount Moriah like Abraham did with his son. Yeah. Then they're going to take him up there and then say, David, you can't hear him. David, here's the word. No. They love him. And, and that's how God feels about us. Amen. But most of that's how he felt about his own to be God. Son. Okay. Let me get ready to close. Jesus healed the woman with the issue of blood for 12 years. Amen. Talk about people who Jesus showed up to heal. Yeah. Amen. He uh, he healed that woman who the Bible says a certain woman which had an issue of blood for 12 years and had suffered many things of many positions. And remember, of course, she went to the doctor and got worse and spent all that she had and nothing better but had got worse. But she said to herself, I heard that Jesus is coming to town. Yeah. I ain't even supposed to be out here because I got a issue of blood. Yes, sir. Amen. I ain't even supposed to be in the crowd. Free, free. She said, but I'm going in. Yeah. Somebody, we need to have that attitude. Yeah. And not worry about what people think about it. Yeah. I need somebody to recognize it in the crowd. Is that that woman with that issue? What's she doing out here? I know one thing. I know they didn't say nothing to her. Yeah. She was trying to make up way to Jesus. Yeah. She had that kind of hope and that kind of faith. Yeah. She said, if I can just put yeah. I don't have to have him lay hands on yeah. me. He don't have to, he don't have to stand over me and anoint me with oil. If I can just but touch the hem of his gone, I shall be here. Y'all yeah. know the story. Yeah. The Bible said, the Bible said that she touched Jesus' wheels around. He said, who touched me? Yeah. 
Woo, hallelujah. Don't y'all want that kind of faith? Yes, that when you touch Jesus, yeah. virtue flows from him. Yes, Amen. Don't you want that kind of faith that all I got to do if I can just if I can just reach him get out of my way. Get move, move over. Hallelujah. Move over. I don't care what you think about me. I'm trying to get to Jesus. That's what it's going to take for you to get your heel. Hallelujah. Pressing on through. Bible says she pressed through the crowd. She got to Jesus. Jesus said, Who touched me? Hallelujah. And the Bible says she was healed from that day forward. And then I want to close out here with this last one. Here in Luke 17 and 12, talks about those 10 lepers. Those 10 lepers, the Bible talks about it again. And Jesus, come on, somebody. Yeah. Jesus wasn't sitting up in some big old pastor study yeah. like they got today. You know, yeah. you, got the yeah. you, know, you know, couches, pictures, refrigerators, all kind of stuff in there. Yeah. No, he was out amongst the people. Yeah. Yeah. I always say, you know, sheep, shepherds ought to smell like the sheep. Okay. Okay. You ought to be out there with the sheep, amen. Yeah. But look what look what look what it says. It says Jesus entered into a certain village where there met him ten men, there get that, ten men, uh, which were lepers and stood off and lifted up their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. That's the first thing. It's amazing to me how people miss so many blessings. Constantly the lives are constantly in disarray. And then when he saw them, he said after them, go show yourselves to the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were healed. I'm just going to paraphrase the end of it on the floor. I want to say this today. First thing, you know, in our day, it's not always miraculous healing. People think to lay hands on somebody, they fall out to get healed right away. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Not always. Yes, sir. That's not God's total purpose. It's to do a miracle in you to cause you to give your life to Christ. Because anyway, miracles don't cause people to have more faith. Because if they did, this whole world would be full of faith. Miracles, miracles, all they do is they just point the way to Jesus. Faith is something that you have to have in your heart. Amen. But I want to help y'all today. I know you know. But at the same time, when Jesus does heal you, you need to give him some glory. Hallelujah. See, see, the Bible says that the ten got healed as they went. Mm -hmm. And they did. They got healed for a season. Yeah. For a little while. Yeah. See, but when you, the other one, the other, it was ten of them, but, the, but, but only one, the Bible says, yeah, yeah, who was yeah. a Samaritan, turned and went back and gave God the glory. And the Bible says that he was made whole. Yeah. See, when you get made whole, that's different than being healed. You can get healed and be sick the next day. But I want to be made whole. Because see, when I get made whole, it ain't my body, which is going to wear away anyway. Amen? God, God, God in the, in the 103rd Psalm of the Nice of Judah this morning says that he forgives all my, heals all my diseases and, he, mm -hmm. and forgives all my iniquity. That's the covenant promise of God to the church. He's not just interested in healing your body. Yeah. He wants to heal your soul. Because the body is going to pass away one day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. But the mortal soul needs to be healed. That's why I need to get myself straight. I need to confess my sins. I need to know who God is. Hallelujah. So, hey, amen. Let me go. I need a bit more loud stuff. <laughs> I'm a stop right there, y'all. I went a little further. But I want to say to y'all today, thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Yes, sir. Turn somebody to thank God for Jesus. You want to make time now. We always give an uh, invitation to discipleship today. I know we have family. And thank God for you all who made your way here this Sunday before Thanksgiving. My job was to, yeah, I know you do. Thank God for his goodness and 
And then as you stand around and somebody offers prayer for Thanksgiving, maybe somebody there will remember that the main thing is Christ. Maybe, maybe somebody in that circle will say, don't forget to thank God for Jesus. Amen. Thank God for the dressing. Amen. Thank God for potato salad. Come on, somebody. Mac and cheese. Thank God. I'm so thankful today. See, I have a testimony. Amen. See, that same creek that I got baptized in, that old Salada Creek with all them crawdads in, I got baptized in that old green water, muddy water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it was that same water that could have took my life. I'm thankful and grateful that he spared me. And God has been sparing me throughout my entire 80 years. I've had many brushes with death, but mm -hmm. God was ready for me yet. Yeah. It's not whether or not God is ready for me, but are you ready for him? Hallelujah. That's the question. You have to be asking yourself that I'm here all this time and God has kept me here a while. I may, he might be giving you another chance. Don't waste it. So today, I want, as I always do, lead us in the prayer. The sinners, we call it the sinner's prayer. Amen. It says that, uh, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I, know I know that I'm doing things in my way and that I need your forgiveness. I know and I believe that you died on the cross for me. And I turn from my sin. Turn from my sin. And I ask you to forgive me. And invite you, Lord Jesus, into Thank my you, life. Lord Jesus. And I ask you to take control. I repent of my sin. I repent of my sin. And I trust you to save. Me. I trust you to save. I will now follow and obey you. And I'll follow and obey you. Master of my life. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving me. For saving me. Hallelujah, y'all. We don't know who's on Zoom or Facebook, but if you're on there and you don't know Christ, you need to know him as your Savior. As I'm talking about how he is your Savior and how he is your healer. He'll care for you and take care of you. So if you pray that prayer, you call that number, somebody's available to get it. Amen. We want to now turn our attention to uh, the uh, prayer request. Uh, prayer request. There you go. Amen. We have a petition here from Deacon Mary Doyle. Amen. Prayer. She's continuing in prayer for us, the Walker family. Yeah. All of us who lost yeah. the, the matriarch of our family a year or so ago. Continue to help us and to strengthen us as we continue on in our journey down here. She's already finished this. And continue prayer for her children, Brittany, and Chris, Cedric, and Marcus. Amen. And for all her grandchildren, and then for Spencer and Evelyn, and continued prayers for Dick and Nell and myself for him. Amen. And then Brittany is praying for uh, healing for herself. And that 2023 is, will be a blessed year for everyone. And then for Cedric is praying for his family, said the door for his family's help and more trust in God and for job opportunities. And then for Minister Darcy's praying for her back 
and her left leg, and we continue to be in agreement with her, and continue prayer for myself and my daughters, amen, for strength for all of us, courage and comfort, and then healing for D, and healing for D to nail, and then we have Sister Madeline Brown, she's praying for her daughter, Danielle Nero, and she's seeking a job, making more and doing better in decisions for her future. And then Sister Judy, praying for her family, T.T. and Taylor, Amen and Almighty, and my sister Betty, or my brother, well, I'm praying for my sister Betty, and uh, Betty, and, uh, and for our church, and, and Dee is praying for her family, traveling grace to and from San Antonio this week for comfort and heal, continued healing, and for the little disciples of Jesus opening. Then Cody, that God would preach protective shield over his family and open doors in his life that no man can close. And then Denise, friend for Pastor Powell and Miramar, and for the Ukraine and all the people in the Ukraine. And she's praying for her husband, Deacon Carl, and herself, and for Zachary for protection from COVID and the flu, cold, and all the variants that's out here that are in the work in the school. We pray for all the teachers. We've got teachers in our membership. Pastor Terry, Stacy, Deacon Ashley, amen, all the teachers and plead the blood of Jesus over them. Praying for my granddaughter, Candace. Praying for God to help her get all the work items done. And then for continued healing of her knee and praying for financial blessings and wisdom for her family and for the DTC family and all its members. Would y'all bow with me? Let's stretch your hands out now as we get before God to bring our petitions. In turn, God, we're so grateful, thankful, mostly above all for our Savior, the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for being my Savior and our Savior, for being my healer and our healer. Amen. And even even as uh, Denise said, for being my protector, how good you are to us. We are so grateful. Words can't express how thankful we are, how we praise you, God, in everything your thanks. And so today, as we bring these petitions before your presence, we do so with thanksgiving in our hearts. Because we know that whatever circumstance we're in, God, that you ordered our steps. So on today, God, we pray that you will hear our, our petitions. Yes, God. With thanksgiving. We bring them before your presence of thanksgiving. We pray for our entire church today. Those who are here, those who are unable to get here, that everyone would have a safe Thanksgiving day. A safe Thanksgiving week. We pray for all those who will be traveling on Thanksgiving. Traveling grace for them. But mostly, we're just so grateful for the privilege and the opportunity of prayer. What a blessing it is to be able to talk to the creator of everything. The universe and all that's in it. Thank you. How good you are, Lord. That the Bible says that thou art mindful of us. You made us a little bit lower than the angels, but yet you are mindful of us. And so for that reason and that reason alone, we thank you for being who you are. Thank you for the stuff. It's good. But that's not as important as thanking you for being our God and our Lord and our Savior. So as we thank you so much for our service on today. Thank you, Lord, for this up and coming week. We ask all these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come on, somebody. Let's give God a hand. Clap.
Jesus, our counselor. Amen. God is a good God. Yes, he is. Uh, God. How good he is, God. But it is not for Jesus and his precious blood that was shed on Calvary. The good news. God loves us and he sent Jesus to rescue us. The good news is make sure your name is written in the book of life. Amen. Amen. And uh, Pastor said that our times is in his hands. Mm -hmm. Our time is in God's hands. We need to be healed in our soul for eternal life. Amen. God is good. It's here. Uh, I want to worship God now in our giving. Amen. 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 Us. And we need to give him back what belongs to him. 
Amen. We have faith confession that you repeat after me. Because I'm a giver. Because I'm a giver. And give to me. And give to me. Good measure. Good measure. Press down. Press down. Shake it together. Shake it together. And run it over. And run it over. Because I'm a children. Right right God is able to, to make all this in life. To one faith to bear. And I always I have all sufficiency. I'm so unbound for it. 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 I'm so Let's pray. Just your hand and try to offer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we come praying. Thank you, Lord God, for your preach word. And we thank you, Lord God, for the opportunity that we have to give back to you a portion of what you have forgiven us. Lord God, you are a good God. Lord. You bless us continually every day. And we thank you for it. Now, Lord God, we pray for this offering, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that it'll be a blessing to the ministry. It'll be a blessing to people's lives, Father God. And Father God, that you would bless us back a hundredfold in return, as your word says, for the day we are givers. Father God, we give you praise, we give you honor and glory. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor Greg, uh, for uh, blessing us, uh, blessing the offering, and giving us a nice little recap of what Pastor preached about. Um, I never asked you something to pull in, but we are getting ready to pull towards our benediction. Um, do our drawing for um, the winner of the three gift cards. So, Pastor, are you ready? Um, we're going to announce the names. Uh, okay. Uh, we're going to do a drawing quickly um, of the three people that are going to get $50 gift cards. And all right, so I'm going to. Dickie and Londa is getting ready to pull up the spin the wheel here. All right, everybody, let's pull the first name. Kevin Gonzalez, you are. Chris Wilson. Okay. <laughs> Simona Carmante. We're so excited for all of our, our winners. Kevin, Chris, and Simona, we'll be providing you um, your gift cards uh, via email. Uh, we pray that you and your families have a blessed and wonderful Thanksgiving. Amen, amen. Congratulations to all the winners. Amen. And again, I was wishing everyone again a great and a wonderful Thanksgiving and a safe. And uh, also uh, turn to somebody and say, neighbor, you better give thanks for Jesus, your Savior. You better give thanks. Jesus, your healer. Amen. All right, let's give God a hand clap for prayer. Let's do one more time.
Yeah, but now that it's past, it's good. Yeah, let's get hands up for you. I think that's good. Have a final word and uh, lead us in our benediction. That's good. I thank God. I really thank God for being here. You know, it's an opportunity to be in the house of prayer. Amen. Awesome word, Apostle. Amen. Just be thankful to God for what he's doing and what he's going to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We serve an awesome God. Just those few lines that he's a healer. Hallelujah. Yeah. He's our Savior. That's, that's enough said right there. Amen. Yeah. Oh no, me, I get to thank you. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's pray. Oh, God. Father, we thank you. And we bless you, God. Oh God, for all you're doing, all you're gonna do. God, we're so grateful. In this season and any season, God, we thank you for being a kind and merciful God. For keeping us thus far. God, we thank you. And as we get ready to leave this place whenever your presence, God, we ask that you go before us. Make every crooked place straight. Find incidents, accidents, mechanical failures, traffic violations. Father, let us go home safe. And now to him who is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before his glory with his seed and joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. And we all say, amen. amen. Young people, amen. Romans 10 and 17, so then, so then, faith come by hearing, faith come by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Take somebody hand and tell me love. Goodbye. Happy Thanksgiving. We love y'all. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Mother Bernice. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you.